Hello and welcome back to a another episode of Road to KSP2. Um, this will be the 20th episode and I just want to remind you guys, please comment, like, or subscribe. Do whatever you want. It just helps me out. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, starting off this episode, we've got a uh, Red Rover... Uh, just called Red Rover. It's gonna be our first rover on the month. Um, I just thought of the Red Rover game, and that's the name of the that's the name of the mission. Uh, yep. And so here we do. Here we go. This is the first time I've ever done this. Um, I hope I hope it looks good, but it is a supercut between the landing of the first stage and what the second stage is continuing to do. Yeah. I think I'm going to do this from now on for the more reusable rockets. Alright, so you saw the landing there. And now you can see the next, uh, the next stage. And you can, uh, like, so you saw it swipe over and then here's the whole, here's the second stage going in for the landing and all of that. and. Yeah, I think I think it's really cool. Um, I can see if this one is kind of confusing. I can kind of see that, but for the most part, it shouldn't be. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, and then it swipes over, and we can see the rover on its way to the moon. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. Um, circularizing our orbit around the moon and preparing our landing yeah uh here we are like slowing ourselves down enough for a safer landing and separating that second stage for the well, that's actually the third stage okay we separated the third stage and we're on our way down to the surface um, we cancel out our velocity and start to accidentally shoot ourselves in the other direction and then we actually start to perform the landing burn yeah and there we go that is three successful landings, <laughs> semi-successful, uh, that, that one's fully successful. So that's three successful landings in one mission, which is pretty, I, I believe that's pretty, you know, important. It's an important milestone. Um, there were some problems with the rover, um, but it was fine. It worked, it got its, it got its required uh, energy. It got all of its uh, science. Yeah, it it performed what it needed to do, um, and then we were about to send it off, and I started to mess with Mech Jeb's autopilot rover just to see what it kind of did, and I well, you can watch it here in just a second. Um, I I royally screwed up here. So I fixed the wheels, because the wheels were kind of wonky, and then I started to drive it, and then I was like, oh yeah, let me just use the heading, and the heading caused it to flip, break the solar panel, and then I couldn't get it to flip back over. Yeah. And then the wheels just kept spinning. And then it ran out of power. Yeah. That was great. Alright, here we are on the second mission of the day. It's Jewel and Eve comms. Uh, it's basically going to be just comms for both planets because we're going to be sending missions to both planets in the coming videos. And actually, one mission was sent today. So, we launch it um, into the... Uh, launch it into space, I guess. And here we are. Um, separating the stages and I did a big no-no. I accidentally blew up the first stage's uh, comms. 
So it couldn't communicate, therefore it couldn't land. Um, we actually faced the same problem in the testing phase of this rocket. Uh, basically, I just can't ignite the rocket while the rocket is still there. So we had to get the, the satellite out in order for the second stage to go in for landing. But, uh, here we are setting up the second stage's uh, landing. Oh, I did this the wrong way around from last time. Alright, well, that's, that's fine. Uh, anyway, yeah, so the landing is in the top left there. You can see it as it goes down towards the surface and deploys its chutes and it will land right on the runway, which is awesome because it gets us 100% back. So, um, I mean, we should try to land either on the launch pad or the runway more often so we can get 100% back. All right, so here's our, our, uh, our probe. It's going to be, well, it's not a probe. This thing will service probes, but as of right now, it it is just sitting up there waiting for things to communicate with it. So it can communicate between, it's, it's just a big relay dish. It's a humongous relay dish. And yeah, here we are with the Aphrodite 2, which will be our second EVE probe. This is the device that will be communicating between the EVE probes. Uh, well, this the EVE, the EVE Jewel relay will be communicating with this device. And here it goes off to low carbon orbit. It decouples, and yeah, here we are. Um, Heading back down for the landing. And this landing goes off pretty good. I tried doing a suicide burn later in the, you know, thing, and then I ended up zeroing out the velocity and flipping the craft. Which is not good for landing. Not good at all. Yeah. Uh. But, other than that, we have the second stage. The second stage, on the other hand, is on its way back down, landing perfectly fine. As you can see up in the top left-hand corner. It's on its way down, and it is very close to the runway. I tried to get it closer, but I, I couldn't. I ran out of fuel, or was about to. And yeah, so I got like 98% returns on that. So yeah, here this is, and something was wrong with the craft, and it wouldn't stay stable. So, there's nothing I could do about it. It just kept spinning. I tried to get it to work. I even tried to spin stabilize it. This is not me spin st stabilizing it. Um, I'll spin stabilize it in just a second. Yeah, it started spinning really rapidly and there was pretty much nothing I could do about it. So I just waited and I did a little time warp so the spin stopped. Um, but it still didn't work. So I attempted to spin stabilize it. Uh, yeah, and that didn't work either. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, pretty awesome that I get, you know, quite a few views on all these videos, and, uh, yeah, thank you, and just, uh, it really means a lot to me if you guys subscribe, so please do that. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, and, yeah, um, yeah, watch the podcast. It's in the description. Bye.